Welcome back, super friends and super family. I am Thor, your friendly neighborhood god of thunder. And once again, I'm joined by my friend Jesse. We are reacting to Hacksaw Ridge. Of course, I haven't seen it, but I know the director and I know the main actor. Of course, I know. Uh, yeah, like the, the director, I think I saw two movies of him. Like Mel the Gibson. Chicken, the Chicken Run we yes, saw together, yes. right? Uh huh, yeah. And the. Apple, Apple something about the Maya tribe. I watched. I remember. I watched that with my dad. Like, oh, Apocalypse! He directed. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've never seen that actually. I want to watch that. I've heard it's really good. I, yeah, I think it's really good as well. Like, I'm not a fan of this kind of movie, but that movie is really good. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's how I know about him, and Andrew Garfield. That's it. Yeah. That's my homework. Uh, Okay, perfect, perfect. Well, that's cool. That's it. cool you're familiar with some of these actors because they are very famous and Mel Gibson. I don't know if he's underrated as a director, but I personally think he's very talented as a director. Maybe even more so than an actor. I don't know. But for this movie, this is based on a real story and it is another war movie taking place in World War II. If you don't know much about the real life person that Andrew Garfield is playing, I don't want to tell you because the story is kind of incredible. Just let you experience it in the movie. Um, but... I'll be interested to see, you know, what you think about his story, his real story, and the actual film itself. And of course, I am also reacting to Band of Brothers as I'm doing kind of this run of some war movies. If you haven't seen those reactions, should have several out right now, even more out on Patreon. If you care to support me, check more of those out. For now, let's get into today's movie, Hacksaw Ridge. <laughs> like I said, this movie is based off a real story. I'm sure there's some, you know, slight embellishments like any Hollywood movie, but I'm pretty sure most of the major things that happen are pretty true to how it actually happened in real life. A true story. You get like a heartbeat sound effect during the violence. I can't even imagine how painful that would be to be literally that's how you go mm. out being burned alive. Lord is the everlasting God and his understanding no one can fathom. Soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. I mean there's having faith and then there's having faith while seeing these sights and living through the horror of this moment. Wait up! Catch up! Where she did be talk. Hey, cheater! This is like completely different with the beginning, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. The contrast is startling. You want a hand? I got it. What a view. I know, right? What? You gonna break your ass! <laughs> they dug up the corner of Jackson and they Putting in the sidewalk. Do you know this actor, Hugo Weaving? No. Like we boys never existed. What are they fighting about? Now, wouldn't they ever need a reason? Tom, do. Tom! What the hell are you doing? You can't hear me! Well, it's you like couldn't stop him from the beginning. I know, I know. I mean, a fist fight is one thing, like smashing someone in the face with a brick, that is not no. <laughs> just a little fight. Oh no, you're not gonna do it, right? Yes, man! Tom, stop. What's that gonna teach the boy? Exactly, I don't think more violence fixes violence. Mm. Fine, you go smother him in kisses. You tell him the world's a soft and gentle place. I could have killed him. Yes, you could have. You what a tough, what a tough environment to grow up in. Why does he hate us so much? He don't hate us. The dad is the vet, right? He hates himself. Yeah. Sometimes. That's such a perceptive like, thing from the mom, too. But like I saw a lot of movie about the vet being violent to the family after the war. So yeah. they kind of make like 
a stereotype of the vet. Like people will think about them that way. I'm assuming this is kind of how his real father was. I'm hoping they weren't just labeling that like all veterans are like that. Like a heavenly host angel, mom. Thin to tell a lie, especially in this place. Well, I never said they were saying an angel. <laughs> I'll phone an ambulance. Oh. Did you apply this tourniquet? Yes, sir. Nice work. You might have saved this boy's life. I mean, most likely, considering how much blood was coming out. He looks so bright and smart. He's like, at first I was getting inspired about a possible career, but now I have a new type of inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> now I have the reason to, to go walk in the hospital. What do you need? Pants don't hold up so good without it. Well, uh, I don't have your best. <laughs> okay. I'm just here to take I think that... that Works pretty well for the icebreaker, though. <laughs> That's a ways. Oh. Just five or six miles through the woods. Seven that way. He's like, I'm in really good shape, okay? Oh, I'm enjoying the view. They look so good together. <laughs> so we're at the hospital. Her name's Dorothy Shooty. I'm going to marry her. Goodness, did she know that? <laughs> well, not yet. Now he's gonna go and donate more blood. I'm gonna give your brother a big hug. Hell, I'm here. Keep your greasy paws off of me. Good luck. I mean, that's pretty cute. Before the first date, he's ready for proposal. Come on. I know. <laughs> Even the color of the movie is nice as well. There's really some gorgeous cinematography. I, I want to look up afterwards who the cinematographer was because it does look really beautiful. You're the belt man. Like, it doesn't it look like the war movie, right? You what? My blood needs it back. <laughs> well, it don't work like that. Yeah, no return policy, Karen. <laughs> Ever since you stubbed me with that needle, my heart's been beating real fast. Every time. Ooh, I that's smooth. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a shame. I, I don't practice that all night. No good? <laughs> See? From blood donation, now they w go to the theater together. Yep. Another inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Difference between an artery and a vein. What are you talking about? The, the boy's accident. He's like, you thought this was a date? Really, I'm just trying to learn things about my career. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I think you need to practice your boy-girl dating talk at home before you come out. Well, I just think you're the prettiest thing I've ever seen. You're just beautiful. I don't know. Is it because of him? It makes like all of the line less corny because it's Garfield <laughs> saying that. <laughs> I'm being manipulated by him. You can get away with a lot when you look like him. <laughs> you need to watch where you're going. <sighs> I'm sorry. I didn't think you'd mind. You coming? Would have tried and talked me out of it. I know what I'm doing is right. Reminds me of how Artie Giddens looked in his uniform when we went to France. Remember him, Bertha? Don't talk. What? I just hope that when our Hal gets shot, it's through the front of his jacket. Artie got hit in the back. It blew most of his guts and intestines out his front. Awful. Get out of my sight. I mean, poor guy. Right now. And Hugo Weaving's acting, like, seeing him break down like that, I'm like, that is a man who has lived, you know, horror, Through seen his war, friends die. Yeah. Are you gonna help me, Desmond Doss? Or are you just gonna leave me stranded? It's like, this is a test of your physical ability, okay? <laughs> to be with me. <laughs> Hold on now. Oh, now he's being a tease. You ain't gonna slap me, are you? <laughs> Oh I mean, no, the... I still cannot believe it's the war movie. I know, I was about to say, like, is this a romance film or a war movie? <laughs> I know. Ooh, now you're meeting the parents. <laughs> the guy that is done. I have to enlist. So are you going to ask me to marry you or what? You're still going to have me? Well, 
I wouldn't know. You haven't asked. <laughs> With all my heart and then some. You marry me? Yes. <sighs> when? As soon as you get your first leave. But I still don't like you at this moment. Well, I love you. Yes. Remember when he told his parent that he's gonna marry that girl? He followed now through. Now he did it, Jack. Yep. <laughs> These three were my best friends. The trouble with him, chase girls with him. Eighteen years. He else jumps in, does things quick without thinking like the damn idiot fools we were. You won't be able to live with yourself if you go. No, I won't be able to live with myself if I don't. Miracle chance you survive, you won't be giving no thanks to God. I do think he's sincere, yeah. like, honestly trying to warn his son and spare him the fate mm. that he suffered. You know, he knows how terrible it is. And he know his son, so... Here. I want you to have this. So I think he just be reasonable, but... I love you. Mm. Now don't get too distracted while you're saying your prayers reading the Bible, okay? <laughs> I hope he can meet his brother. Testicles there belong to a man calling himself Hollywood. Yeah, well, they look like they belong to a smaller guy. No testicles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, I just got this shoe. Virginia. Oh, Billy, huh? You marry your first cousin? <laughs> oh, I think Lucky's got a good book, right, Lucky? It's a good read. Slightly different kind of good book. <laughs> oh, line up! Ow! You are a very strange-looking individual, if you don't mind me saying so, Private. I am not Sir! I am Sergeant Howe or Sir! Is it Vince Vaughn? Yeah. The name is Ghoul, you say? Walker! Sergeant! Ghoul it is! <laughs> There's something off in your presentation, Private. I have a knife in my foot, Sergeant. <laughs> oh, yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> the knife. What is your- You look part Indian. To what tribe do you belong, son? Let me see your Indian war cry, son! I, I don't- <laughs> <laughs> I remember this is so funny. <laughs> and I shall henceforth call you chief as a sign of great respect to your people. I have seen stocks of corn with better physiques. Makes me want to pull an ear off, private. You should honestly be in a roast battle or something. <laughs> Make sure you keep this man away from strong winds. Yes, sir. Private idiot! Yes, sir. Raise your foot. <laughs> Higher. He's not going to say anything about the naked guy or what? <laughs> Move it! What about the naked? I believe any man who takes such pride in his natural naked state will surely enjoy the brisk of the outdoors. Now move your private, private parts! <laughs> Son of an exhibition! <laughs> I'm gonna teach you how He's to He's naked, out. so funny. Have you ever looked into a goat's eyes? No, sir. Good, that would be unnatural. Good, private idiot. <laughs> taller. If you're American, you'd be taller. He's mean. <laughs> One for each titty. You were <laughs> Not building a bra. You think of us girl, okay? What is so funny, Corporal? Couldn't tell you, Sergeant. It's dead, it's dead. Don't forget behind your ears, let's go! I mean, watching any of these military, like, training montages always makes me feel, like, so out of shape and weak. I'm just like, yeah, this is some <laughs> hardcore training, man. <laughs> this is intense. I know. Okay, that's a cheap move. <laughs> He's saving his energy to win. This is to be your lover. Your mistress, your concubine. Are we in Texas? What's going on? I do not want to be shot today, no matter how much you are tempted. Problem, Private Cornstock. Is there not one in your size? I was I was told I don't have to carry a weapon. I can't touch a gun. Hmm. He's being pretty clear about it, right? Yeah, standing true to his principles, you know. I come here to be a medic. I set my battery. You're a conscientious objector. You join the army. I'm a conscientious cooperator. I'm a CC, not a CEO. I've taken a human life. She don't kill. Is there anything else that we can do to ensure that you have a comfortable stay here with us? 
He doesn't want. Mm. We should simply ask the enemy not to invade on the Sabbath because private dossiers are pretty. <laughs> little sarcasm, no. just a little. <laughs> you will obey my orders, period. I want you to meet Private Desmond Doss. Huh? Private Doss does not believe in violence. Do not look to him to save you on the battlefield. It just seems kind of small. <laughs> it's half the Bible for half the man. Now they're going to bully him for his faith. It's how come you don't fight? We think you're better than us. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey, chicken shit, that eh? What is this? Ooh. Give me that. This is a fine looking brawl that deserves a real man. Please give it back, Smitty. I mean, the level of self-control, like when someone's being such a bully and like you're facing that humiliation not to punch them. Like, I want to punch that guy through the screen, you know? But for that to actually mm. be happening to you. So you don't hear voices. I pray to God and I like to think he hears me, but it ain't a conversation. So he's a shrink. Yeah, yeah. Because they're evaluating him. They're like, something must be wrong with him for him to not <laughs> want to fight, you know? He throws God at you. You throw hell right at him. I want him gone. They're being mean to him, but I think they're really doing it out of fear that it's going to weaken the whole unit, you know, like yeah. seeing one man do that. Like they have to think about the group, right? There will be no passes this weekend. You will all be on KP. Everybody in full gear for a 20 mile hike. 20 miles, jeez. Uh. You dogs don't know what tired is. <laughs> Being the black sheep in the family. This isn't good for anybody. Sure ain't what I joined up for. Are you saying that you don't know who attacked you? I, I sleep pretty hard. I mean, come on, you have to respect that. I think the guy that bullied him in the beginning would protect him and maybe gonna be his friend now. Touch a rifle, sir. I'm not asking you, private! And you will spend the duration of the war in a military prison. Hmm. On his wedding day. On his wedding day. Like, come on. I know. Longer, would you like to wait, Dorothy? I think it's been long enough. I hope she knows the reason. You know, she isn't doesn't just think he's standing her up. And just give cold feet. Not my Desmond. I believe in his book as much as any man. But I also feel that my values are under attack. If I can't convince you, maybe she can. I don't know how I'm gonna live with myself if I don't stay true to what I believe. Tell him that we love him and that we're praying for him. We're praying for both of you. Man, it's tough. I know. Like, I'm speechless. I talk about a lose-lose situation. <laughs> I wonder how many years it's been since he put on the uniform. Private Doss wishes to enter a not guilty plea. He looks so nervous even representing him. Yeah. Changed my mind. Just like that. You wish to proceed to a court martial. He wants his contempt by directly disobeying a series of direct orders from his commanding officer. This is where you need Tom Cruise from A Few Good Men. Do you deny disobeying Colonel Sangston's direct orders? It isn't right that other men should fight and die that I would just be sitting at home safe. I need to serve. Now how could you put a man like this in prison? How? Oh, so set on tearing itself apart. Doesn't seem like such a bad thing to me to want to put a little bit of it back together. Hmm. So you fight for your country, you lose so much that was dear to you, and then you're done with? Let me have the letter. And it's got to be mean so much to him for his father to show up at this moment in his I life. I know, like, and in the beginning, the father didn't support him a lot. I withdraw the charges, sir. Now this case is dismissed. Training is a combat medic. <gasps> oh, why I feel so happy and released? Really? <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I'm telling my love. This must be his happiest day ever. Honestly. Yeah, and like he keeping his faith to the end. <sighs> I wonder what these soldiers think when they saw the body passing by. I think it's got to be terrifying, especially when you're heading in that direction yeah. where all the bodies are coming from.
I mean, these are the sights his father was talking about that he was trying to spare his son from living through. All clear, Sarge! You dogs? About the only medics we got left in this area, so I guess we're going to be working together. Just come off the line. What's it like? What's it like? I mean, look at their faces, man. Yeah. We climbed up six times. Six times they threw us off. Hips don't care if they live or die. They want to die. They keep coming at you. I don't know where that nickname comes from. Nips for the Japanese. The Japs deliberately target the wounded. The whites of Ozai. I'm not sure if it's the official rules of war. I believe like the German soldiers, for example, wouldn't shoot the medics or would try not to. I guess that's the hacksaw, Rich. Yep. Nobody can survive that shit. I mean, talk about impressive firepower. And these explosions look so real, I feel like a lot of this uh -huh. had to be practical, you know? This blood. No shit. We're not in Kansas anymore, Dorothy. <laughs> you can say that again. Oh my god, look at the dead bodies lying over there. I know. Oh my gosh. Where are they coming from? Me, pal. Where the fuck? I mean, honestly, that's smart. It's some type of cover. Careful. Go! gonna do now push out of morphine to move out and that seems heartless but I think the medic is speaking like there's other people that need to be saved that mm. can be saved Please don't leave me. like they I have to anywhere. think about the big picture right I'm gonna get you out stretch up stretch up oh shit Talk about cool under pressure. He's being such a big brother. Uh. Dead before we get him down. You don't know that. Okay. Go. Okay. Go. That's all right, buddy. And of course, I mean, of course, Dawes is not gonna abandon anybody. Are you here? What? Uh. Jeez. I think they can see it, Florida. That's a big ass telephone. Keep that right. You're gonna be right as right. All right. I got it, Doss. It's like not only is he saving them, but he's got like the best calming bedside manner of all time. You know, I've been to the doctors with less, you know, sensitive support. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, doctor and, and nurses can be scary. There we go. Some real firepower. Why they have like a big ass up? Cover! Cover! Ah. Careful. They're so close. I know, careful. <laughs> yes, fire in the hole. Oh. 
Ghoul! Ghoul, you're okay! You're okay! Thank God. I need a break. <laughs> I know. I mean, the way that sequence is directed, I think Mel Gibson does such a good job of capturing the brutality. Like, obviously, nothing can replicate actually being there, but that's mm. about as close as you can get in a movie, I feel yeah. like. Yeah. In peace, sons bury their fathers. In war, fathers bury their sons. That's sad. I know. I mean, I don't think the medic will ever stop walking, but now it's their main job, right? Yeah, it's like even while the other men have a little rest, like they have to be caring for the wounded. There's basically no break for them. I don't eat meat. Help yourself. Of course you don't. It's like, of course you would be a vegetarian, too. <laughs> I bet he practiced yoga as well. <laughs> you know you fight not your weight class with us, don't you? <laughs> yes, I do. You'd be much happier with a man like me anyway. Yeah, until she got to know you. <laughs> <Nice>. Sometimes. <laughs> do you think if there is Wounded Japanese soldier, will he help? What is that? It's not shooting star, right? No. Uh. Oh! Motherfucker! No! I hope it's a bad dream! Hi. Don't samurai me, okay? Hell of a dream. I mean, that's got to be so common with anyone who survives any war, having dreams like that. Mm. I mean, this guy. At first, I really hate him, but now I'm rooting for him. The same man if he's screaming for a weapon. Well, I've never claimed to be sane. My daddy's a drunk. At least you knew it. Mine could have been any one of ten guys, and none of them are worth a damn, so... Learn how to hate quick. Learn how to judge people quicker, and I got you very wrong. <laughs> but you didn't kill him. In my heart, I did. <sighs> That's when I made my promise to God I ain't never gonna touch a gun again. Why they have a lot of energy in the morning? Oh my lord. That's a lot of them. I know. Careful. Hell we are, but I don't expect to be here much longer. Oh jeez. Oh shit. I mean how explosive those tanks are, I wonder how common that was in the actual war, you know, flamethrowers getting blown up. And he must be in so much pain himself, but he defers to someone else. Right oh, oh why you have to do that? Yeah. Oh, come on, that's my favorite guy. How dare you? You know, and hear him breathing in the background. <sighs> I mean, he tried to save him, but there's only so much you can do. What is it you want of me? I don't understand. I can't hear you. That's almost like the sound and answer to his prayer. All right. Thirty-two only came down, sir. Good lord. Thirty-two out of how many guys just went up? We lost Vin Vince Vaughn, right? I think we lost him. I 
Not the brow, okay? <laughs> this is where it comes in handy. As much as he was made fun of. <laughs> Just don't look down. Chapped. We've lost our cover. Come on. Oh, shit. You think we can play dead? You don't have to trust me. Take a breath. Okay. Close your eyes. Dude. <laughs> this is so scary. Close your eyes. <laughs> I think he's gonna pick up the weapon. He's... Wow, that's like a tunnel over here. It's like you just infiltrated the enemy, man. I know. That answer my question. Exactly. <laughs> Will we have <laughs> And what can that guy be thinking? You know, like you see an American soldier, of course you're thinking this guy's gonna kill me. Morphe. That's good. Please don't scream. <laughs> the fuck? Who was blind? Just a little guy. too much dirt on your face. <laughs> <laughs> a true hero. <laughs> Tell me about it. It's like I try to go one more in my workout reps. And it's like this guy is more <laughs> like saving lives, man. <laughs> I hope he gets some sleep. <laughs> Morphine? Hell yes. That or a bullet. <laughs> that looks much worse than it is. You girls will still won't kiss you. <laughs> you must be so proud of him. I mean, seeing him alive when he was left up there for who knows how long, it must be like seeing someone come back from the dead. What the hell is this? Hey, cat. <laughs> Thank goodness that wasn't a direct hit. And it was a good helmet. Oi. You're like I'm on a shoe, ain't you? Give me this. <laughs> <laughs> It's like I wasn't gonna shoot it, I'm using it as a prop, okay. Let's go. Oh my god, that's a lot of them. Arms up! You gotta be kidding me, Bruh, remember. <laughs> 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 that must have been satisfying, come on. <laughs> Pick up a gun. Dawes is still up there. Is this midi? Yeah. Oh. He don't. He doesn't leave that guy behind. Right? Hey, it's okay, Doc. Medic? He didn't make it. He died of shock. Jesus Christ, he literally died of shock? All I saw was a skinny kid. I didn't know who you were. You've done more than any other man could have done in the service of his country. I've been more wrong about someone in my life. 
We have to go back up tomorrow. What the hell is your delay, Captain? Waiting for what? Doss to finish praying for us, sir. <laughs> now he's descend. Let's go to work. I imagine they did that because the Japanese thought it was dishonorable to surrender, but to trick people like that? How is that honorable, too? He's gonna go back and get the Bible for him. So he would rather die but not surrender, right? I mean, it's very different than someone like Dawes, but it does show someone on the other side who believes mm. in something more strongly than their desire to live. I mean, that is some amazing camera work. I don't even know how they shot that. This is him? Uh-huh. Aw, that's Dorothy. Boss, please help me get one more. When I got this, I say, Lord, Lord, please help me get one more. Talk about someone who can look back on their life and be proud of what they did. <sighs> well, that that is Hacksaw Ridge. What did you think? What a movie. I know, right? I think the movie is really beautiful, you know? About humanity, about his brave and about the love as well at at the beginning i thought the movie mainly about the love of him and his wife but yeah. then it's about the love of him and his teammate you know yeah yeah exactly like how, like how they try to look out for each other and like in the beginning they might have some conflict but like when when, when they go in the battle like they just look out for each other yeah. Like Vince Vaughn and Captain Glover be the big brother for the the other fellow. And we cannot forget my man Smitty, you know. Yeah. I'm yeah. rooting for him. <laughs> I know. I mean he gave his life as a hero too, despite, you know, being, you know, maybe not the friendliest of people in training. Mm. And that's what's so crazy. Like I think you could point out like Many of those supporting characters, I thought they gave really good performances. It's one of the reasons mm. I think this is a really strong movie. But they were heroes in their own right. Desmond Doss was like a hero, of, like a superhero, like real life. Like there's heroes and there's like the next level of just the ultimate. Mm. And it, you know, to talk about someone to aspire being like, I don't know, I, I feel so, uh, it's like, how do you even like, you just look at someone who has that level of courage, that level of conviction. And I also love like how when he had all those obstacles, there was like zero bitterness. Like I would be pretty resentful of, you know, here I am trying to serve my country, do a brave thing. And I'm being put on trial, being threatened with jail mm. just because I don't, you know, I'm believing in, you know, not murdering other people. But instead, like he's so forgiving and caring. Mm. You know, despite mm. any how he's being treated, what's going on around him. Like, I I think that he never get, like, angry about everyone for once. Like, all he do was just, like, believe in what he believe in. And, like, he doesn't really care about what other people think or, like, you know, having the gr grudge to hate them yeah. for not believing something like him. Yeah. And I think that Andrew Garfield's performance, you know, he he showed, like, how difficult it was. You know, they didn't treat Desmond Dawes like some, you know, angel from on high where, like, everything is easy. He's just his ultimate perfect being. Like, you see on his face, you know, the struggle. I love the moment, mm. like, right before he goes back when he's just, like, staring and he's, like, after seeing all those men get killed and he's just like, what? Like, what do you want from me? Like praying to god like what like mm. it's so difficult and then you just hear the scream for medic 
almost like an answer to that prayer. And he's like, okay, that's my mission. That's what I have to do. But I don't know. For me, to this, um, the way a couple of the sequences were directed, I thought Mel Gibson really captured. It felt, I think you mentioned it during the reaction, but it felt like a horror movie. You know, and obviously, yeah. you know, people talk about how horrifying, but some of the sequences, like with the suspense and just like when they're walking around seeing the bodies before they're ambushed by the Japanese, you know, it really is directed and feels like a horror movie, but there's no monster. It's just, you know, the cruelty of what humans can do to each other. Yeah, like, I don't really know what to say. Like, during, you remember, during, like, the war, the battle, like, I was speech speechless, like, yeah. Yeah. And, like, they how they carried the whole vibe, like, the dead vibe, like, during yeah. the movie. I don't know. I, I think it's... Not only a film that portrays like how horrible war can be, but also has like that hopeful turn to it where you see like that's also in those worst and ugliest of times possible. That's where someone can also rise above in the greatest possible way. And you can have those bonds of friendship in the deepest possible mm. sense, despite everything that's happening. And I feel like he listened, he was listening to my question like, if like Dos gonna save the Japanese soldier, and yeah. yeah, he did. Exactly, exactly. Thank, but like, thank God, no one's around. Otherwise, they would judge him. You think? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, they mentioned that none of them made it. I'm like, were they caring for the injured Japanese that he lowered down as well as they were for the Americans? I doubt it. I really doubt mm. it. You know, but mm. still, the fact that he saved them and lowered them, he proved his. Um, I guess, empathy for just even the enemy by doing that. Mm. I don't know. To me, it's a, it's a very inspiring movie. I, I mean, I love Rocky and I love, you know, an inspiring sports movie, but I feel like step aside, we got Desmond Dawes, a real life superhero here. That kind of is the ultimate inspiration for uh, the type of character to be. Yep. Uh, like not all the heroes wear cap, right? But uh, let us know what you think in the comments down below. Um, this is probably my favorite Mel Gibson directed movie. I've seen Braveheart. I can't think of any others off the top of my head. But let me know what you thought about the directing, about the true story, any of those thoughts down below. Like I mentioned, if you want to watch the full reaction to this movie or any of my Band of Brothers reactions, it's all up on Patreon. Uh, thank you to everyone who supports there. And as always, remember, be active, be mindful, and be a hero.